I'm jet lagged. I don't want to sew. I'm going to make a filler episode. So I'm just back from a trip to the States. Of course, while I was there, I bought some clothes. I went thrifting, I did the whole thing. So I figure I can get away with making a haul video, right? Like that's still within my niche. You're still gonna watch, right? Oh, this could be a wasted video. I went to a crossroads. They buy current on-trend clothing for cash or trade. I thought long and hard about this bodegan tee, but I couldn't think of an outfit where I could make this work. Instead, I picked up this tee by Futura Labs. Futura is one of the OG graffiti artists. He got his break doing art for The Clash, but is probably better known for his work with Uncle. One day I'll get a real point man from a collection, and though I'm not totally sold on the rabbit, I couldn't leave this behind. I also picked up this MF90. I know nothing about it, but they added this handy QR code to the label. They seem to be some sort of marketing branding company. I don't really get it, but I like the front graphic a lot. I'm not so sure about the back graphic, but I don't have to see it. I paid $44 for both of them, and I'm happy with that. Next, I got these two cowboy shirts from Golden Age Hollywood. I didn't actually get to go to the shop, but my wife came home with these, and I'm very glad she did. They're both made in Denver, Colorado. I'm not really able to date these, but it feels like the blue one might be as old as the 80s. While the black is such a classic look, it could have been made at any point in the last 70 years. But I do think it is newer. The tailoring and construction on both of these is incredible. The hardware is awesome, and I'm very happy to have them in my wardrobe. I feel like Seb from the Viagra Boys in the black one. Also, excitingly, the blue one has some damage to the collar, meaning that you'll see this again when I get round to repairing it. The last bit of clothing I got was this No Violence Golf tee. Golf is Tyler the Creator's merch brand and after a disappointing experience with last year's mystery box, I felt like I had to go there and get something I actually wanted. It's really rare for me to buy new so when I do I'm looking for an experience and sure, it's run by cool kids doing very little. The rails are sparse and to the point, and there's a mini bowl. But honestly, I didn't feel wanted there. I didn't feel comfortable filming or asking where this was made, if it was fair trade organic cotton, if the workers involved were paid a living wage. In the end, I probably could have made better use of a trip to Fairfax. However, this is high quality printing on a really nice blank, so those little children really know what they're doing. That was all the clothes that I got on holiday. I'm pretty happy with them. Usually on this channel, I'm drafting and sewing my own garments. So if you're interested in seeing some of that, I'll, I'll, put, some, I'll put some choice representatives up there. But I still have a few bits and pieces in my bag. So uh, if you're up for it, do you want to niche down a bit further? Do you want to, do you want to, come on, come on. Let's, let's, let's see what I've got. I like toys specifically designer art toys, and over the years I've amassed quite a collection. So a trip to LA had to include a stop at the Toy Art Gallery, and it was totally worth it. The place is filled with a mix of early noughties vinyl, more contemporary Safubi, and packed with original artwork. I couldn't afford any of the really good stuff, but I picked up these two Safubi pieces, this transforming car monster and this finger puppet. I don't really know anything about the artists, but they were in my price range and I liked them. They did have the Michael Lau Krylon set in orange, but I just couldn't justify the expense, and I will likely regret that for the rest of my life. If you're a committed fan of the channel, you'll know I love Gundam, so I had to make a stop at Toy Jungle in Little Tokyo to get a real Gunpla experience. I ended up getting a Demi Barding, the expansion kit, and water slides. I also picked up some gachapon around the corner. Finally, no trip to LA is complete without making the drive to Anaheim and Disneyland. And yes, I went to Bado. And yes, I built a lightsaber. And yes, I left the blade behind while rushing to the airport. This has the potential to become a proper project on the channel, as I thought about getting the fancy lightsaber sheath 
but after closer inspection, I'm fairly confident I can make something better myself. I also want some sort of belt arrangement for this, so figured there's an episode in that. Let me know in the comments if this is something you want to see on the channel. So that was everything that's worth talking about. Um, if you made it this far into the video, that's greatly appreciated. Thank you very much for your time. Normal service will resume next week. I will be back to garment making, or will I? Christmas is fast approaching now, so I've got my Christmas make idea that I'm gonna do next. And then there's the end of the year review video to do. But I think I might be able to sneak a garment in, in somewhere between those before I'm finished for the year. Otherwise, you know, like, subscribe, comment. Are you actually up for seeing that lightsaber video? I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. I really want the blade back. I miss it. I don't have anything else to say before we end it. So I guess I should just like end it. This is it. This is the end of the video. This is the end of the video. Bye. We're done. We're done. We're done. You can go off now. <laughs>